Welcome back to Dungeon Keeper, Shade of Dead style. I am Shade of Dead, and we are going to go to this bonus realm. Um, this one here. It's the new one that we've got. Before we go to Blaze End, we don't want to go to Blaze End yet. The region of the underworld will test your ability to traverse this network of caverns. Indeed, times your enemy here. You build a lair Feed it, and you creatures. will find the legendary warriors imprisoned. That warrior will serve you well in the future. All right. So yeah, now I recall. Yeah, we got to go this way. Um, we have a Skellington. I, yeah, I need to build a lair. Uh, I can't build a lair. I guess we can double tab. Although, I mean, I've got some spells and things to help me. We want to. We want to go around the outside. We really do. Don't. Don't do that. Dig. Dig the wall. I can't even make more imps, which is terrifying. You have tunneled into a new area. Yes, I know. I don't even have access to anything that can help me much here. And my imp's dead. Shizzles. Um, that's bad. That's real bad. Because I can't even break this block, which is what I would like to do. Lava everywhere, lightning everywhere. I think I'm going to lose. Uh, I've, for I've forgotten how to do this one. Ah, lava. Your creatures are under attack. Kill it, 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 kill it with fire. Let's get back in your head. Um I need to be ready to run. Because I don't remember where the boulder traps are. Where the best route is. For even that matter. Alright, archers. Dodge. Oh god, just two of them. Alright, I'll let him fight, and I'll cast him. Oh, yes, I'll win you healing spells on him. Let's get my healing up here. Oh god, I've called them all. Oh jeez. Your creatures are falling oh, in I failed. Being defeated. <laughs> Blaze end. Yeah, I know, Blaze End. Oh. You gotta learn. You gotta learn as you go. This one is actually pretty difficult. Alright. to build a lair for your creatures. Yep. Claim. Dig. This is actually... I don't know that I need the imp after he's dug all this out. Other than... It would be nice to have him. There. Just claim. Alright. Nope. Go back here. You have tunneled into a new area. Claim it. There we go. Dig that. Yeah, you killed yourself. Well done. You idiot. Um, here we go again. I think we'll go right up the middle, actually. Um, that seems like the smarter idea. I don't have to face that one. I don't have to face the, uh, ladies. As it were. Um... Your creatures are under attack. Nope. Nope. I'm going around the corner. You got to come to me, buddy. Come to me. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here they come. We'll wait around the corner for him. Ah, kill this one. Kill this one. Kill it. Kill it. Your minions are winning a battle. Your minions are winning a battle. Ooh, we really don't want to go through the middle, if we can help it. All right, I guess I have to go through here. Um, hug, all right, crap. Back up, back up, back up. That word of power trap is powerful. It hurts. Now, um, we could do this. That might help a little bit against these words of power traps. If I go right there, there is a specific. Ah, that's not it. I thought there was a specific route that I should take. Alright, I kind of found it. Who's coming? Oh. I'm looking at the mini map. I remember this. Yipe! Boulder traps, boulder traps. 
stand in the middle. They they should be slamming into each other. And Your creatures are under attack. Where? I think this one rolls back and forth. Oh God. Or it goes around. It goes around. All right, so let's let it pass. Really? Oh, God. I know. Oh, I'm almost out of time. Where's that boulder? Oh, God, I'm out of time. Run, just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Oh, God. Boulders, you boulders everywhere. Defeated. Yeah, I died. Time ran out. Okay. No screwing around this time. We gotta go faster. <laughs> Some of these bonus levels are pretty fun. Um, pretty interesting. Alright, come on. Dig. Amp, need to build a lair for amp, get to work. Get to work. Alright, let's get the map sorted. We don't really have time to even wait for the imp to finish what he's doing. Let's just go. You have tunneled into a new area. Yeah, I know. Ow, 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 lightning bolt. Ow, ow, that really hurts. Uh He'll stay right there, and I can heal him. Alright. That. Your creatures are under attack. Ah! Uh. Oh, just go kill him. Dang it, I thought I had... I thought I had sick things. See ya. I'm gonna go around the corner. Your minions are winning a battle. Where'd you go? Your minions are winning a battle. Ooh, I nearly died. Uh, time to heal. No, that's not what I wanted. Heal. Please. Alright. Let's go invisible. And let's let's possess you. Um let's see if we can figure out the right path to go. I think it's Ow, ow, ow. Please don't hurt me. Let him pass. Your creatures are under attack. I know. Okay, we gotta hurry. I gotta hurry and get through here before time runs out. There we go. We're safe from that. Um, this would be a good spot to heal. See if this is gonna be a boulder trap. You have conquered this realm. Oh my god! We did creatures. it. We did it. Alright. Now we can like totally transfer the priestess. So be it. We'll have a priestess next level, I guess. And blaze in. I don't know if that's the best choice or not, but it's the choice I have. Yeah, that was interesting. So, um, come through. Come straight up through here. Heal, armor, vapos if you can, so you're invisible. Uh, but as soon as you vapos, like possess. Uh, as soon as you attack, he he will go nuts and and turn visible again. So it's D and D rules invisibility. If you make an attack, then you become visible again. Come around through here. I don't. Maybe it's up here that you need you need to come out to the side and go around like that. That's probably what it is. Run straight through. Smash the door, run straight through, uh, and then as you come into this room, head over here, or over here. You can do either one. I guess I just saw this one first. Run over here, run up, come over, slip through, and then head down into here. Uh, I don't know what's over here. Probably a boulder trap, that's my guess. I don't have any creatures left. They all got killed. So, <laughs> that's it. Did that one. Now, blaze and I'm gonna enter in here. I'll go ahead and save it. 
this is gonna be a really short episode. Shortish. Not as short as it could have been. Um Yeah, alright. This is the one I think. You need to build a lair for your creatures. Yeah, Game I'm saved. Quite aware, so let's quit. Alright, so Guardians of this realm are asleep at the moment. Attack them as soon as you can, or there'll be breakfast wide awake and ready to kill you or something like that. Um, but we're going to leave. Um, the reason being is, like, he's going to talk again, but I'm going to talk over him. Um, the reason being that I think I'm going to put this in the, another episode, even though this is only, like, I don't know, 10, 12 minutes long is Blazend is probably one of the most grueling levels in the game. And it's just, it can go on and on forever. There's all sorts of hidden triggers for uh, hero invasions. Um, heroes can come at any time. Uh, like... You mine this much gold, heroes attack. You mine that much gold, heroes attack. You take too long, heroes attack. You do this, heroes attack. That, that it's, it is an ordeal. Um, you, if I remembered everything that was going to happen, it was, would be a lot easier for me. I don't remember everything that's going to happen. Um, but I do remember Blaze End and those tiny little rooms that you start with. Um, I think... I thought maybe this was the one probably that I think that comes after this. Um, I think it's this next one here. Uh, in here somewhere. Uh, we face uh, where you start with a dungeon already built because there was a keeper here before but the keeper was destroyed so now you have to run out and claim his dungeon and make it yours except that... Uh, there's certain rooms missing. You can't build rooms or something. I, I forget how it all works. But it is a chore. There's an enemy keeper. There's a hero dungeon. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in that in the one after this. But anyway, we're not there yet. Blaze End is a slog. If I remember right, there's like, like the top half of the map or something is like a hero dungeon. And it's kind of brutal. Uh, maybe it's not the top half. Like, the top third or something. Um, but that will be next episode, because it's probably going to be a long one, uh, just to warn you. Um, I might... S there's three levels left, I think. Well, three levels in a, in a secret, hidden level. Well, there... Maybe. There might be another hidden level. Uh, the hidden level I may have to cheat. Do the cheat uh, to be able to access. The way you access it previously was you, you moved files around. Like, you changed the location of one of these bonus levels. Uh, you renamed the level to the name of one of these bonus levels. And then you could play that bonus level. I don't know if I'll have to do that. I... I I'm going to guess for everything that they've done here in Keeper FX that they've fixed it. It should be in this level or in the next. Uh, it should be in Blaze End or the next one, which is Thistle? Something like that. Um, and that's where we'll we'll go next week. So I know this was a short one. We had a long one, and kind of medium length one, regular length one, and then this short one. Man... I love Dungeon Keeper. It's the best. The best. Uh, but uh, we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Um, and I guess I'll, I'll just leave with this. If you are looking for Dungeon Keeper games, besides Dungeon Keeper, although I suggest getting this one, getting the Keeper FX patch, you know, actually, it wouldn't hurt. Other than it's going to make your eyes bleed, I would even play through it normally. And try some of the deeper dungeons levels which are pretty difficult the deeper dungeons levels are no joke they are hard there's also yeah but you'll get kind of a feel for the easy way to do it i guess the default game is the easy way keeper fx is a lot more difficult um if you remember back to the level where i started at the top of the of the map up here 
And then, like, there was already some path, uh, this pathway that was open Please in the end. middle. I don't. Place of joy why are you? And love. I didn't. The legend say has ever spoiled the calm of Glaze End. I know. So when something does, it'll be long overdue. Long overdue. And the inhabitants will thoroughly deserve it. They do. They deserve it. But I, I was at the top. And then there was a keeper over here and a keeper over here. And there was kind of like this X of unminable stone in the middle. So, like, they had this triangle. I had, or one keeper had this triangle, one keeper had this triangle, and I had the top. And then the bottom, there was heroes and I think a, a, a graveyard with, with a vampire or two in it. Um, and it's the one where, I, where people were making the joke because I said we were going to go in his back door. Uh, the keeper over here but like in the regular game like that map is super easy like there's not really much of a challenge to get through that map um, it, it seemed like like most of the time honestly in a lot of the normal keeper levels all you really have to do is just sit there wall yourself in especially if you have, if you have a gem block or access to making a huge workshop and putting everybody to work to make you stuff to make gold you can just wall yourself in train a few creatures at a time and wait till you had all tens and then when you would go attack the enemy keepers would do really stupid things like they would build terrible shaped rooms like they would build like non-square rooms that like well, they would take like a square room and they'd build like two rooms inside of it and they'd be all looped around inside of each other. It was really bad. Uh, the AI was not great. Um, I think by the last patch that came out for Dungeon Keeper, um, well, basically the Dungeon Keeper Gold version, a lot of that was fixed and the Keepers weren't quite so stupid. But you can... But I I would suggest if you if you like the idea of this... There's Dungeon Keeper with the Keeper FX mod, which you know gives you some high quality graphics for playing on modern machines. Uh, just plain default Dungeon Keeper looks terrible, terrible. I saw somebody uh, streaming Dungeon Keeper uh, on Twitch the other day, um, and wow, it was. <laughs> <laughs> they they weren't using the Keeper FX mod, you know, and it was playing in its native uh, 640, 480, but they had it stretched to, you know, 1920, 1080. Oh, it hurt my eyes just trying to watch it. Ugh. Anyway, um, Dungeon Keeper, Dungeon Keeper 2, those are both available on Steam and Good Old Games, whichever one you want to get it from. Um, there's War for the Overworld, which... I don't know if that's on good old games. Might be, uh, but it is on Steam. I know for sure. Um, there is also a roguelike version, kind of, of Dungeon Keeper. Uh, it's called Keeper RL, Ke Keeper Roguelike, and that one is interesting. It, it's it's different. It's very similar, but it is different. Like your keeper is actually a guy. Um, that you need to protect. You don't have a dungeon heart. Um, you have imps, and you, you attract creatures, and you train them, and and they can only. There, you, you have to build them equipment, though. Like you have to get them armor, and build them armor, and build them weapons, all this stuff. So, research spells. Your keeper's really good at that. But there's keeper roguelike. Um, I think Avak, A A V A K. Um, he is doing a, another playthrough of Keeper RL. So if you go check it out, he's uh, there's two versions of how to play that. You can play it as the Keeper, and then you actually there's an overworld, and you kind of build your dungeon in, in your square, and then you can reach out and attack other people. They will attack you, so on and so forth, and... And you go from there, and you kind of expand out. There are allies that you can go meet, and you go meet the allies, and then you can summon those allies, or, or not summon, but recruit from those allies. Like, you might meet the Dark Elves, or an Orc tribe, or, and 
you know, whatever, and be able to get ogres and, and dark elves and stuff in your in your place. There's uh, another another way you can play that as an adventurer, or you're just one guy. You're just it's more like a roguelike, uh, or, or it's more like a rogue game. Uh, it is way more roguelike, um, where you have just the one guy, and you have to go and and conquer these enemy realms and then conquer these uh, enemies that come for you and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, I I like that one. Uh, it's really hard to do it as just the adventurer though. Uh, you kind of got to get lucky. Just like in most roguelikes, you got to get lucky on on what you find and. Uh, what's available in the shop and so on and so forth well, there's those uh, there's a game called Dwellers, which I'm not real I'm not a big fan of I'll be honest I, I don't think it's that great I think I even think it might still be in the early access unless it's changed a tremendous amount I I'm not a big fan of it but there's that um, I'll mention it but there's a lot of Dungeon Keeper goodness out there. And it's... God, I love this game. Look how much we've ruined this place. Look how terrible it is. <laughs> it's just ruined. We've just burnt it all. And lava everywhere. Just nothing green growing. We, we have destroyed this world. Even the water's turning red. It's not even blue anymore. There's a little bit of blue back over there. The sky's turned red. I, I do like how um, the overworld changes as time goes by. You'd think these guys would be panicking. Like, getting an army together, uh, you know, at this point, half the war, more than half, <laughs> what, 16, 17 out of uh, 20 parts of the world? <laughs> you know, have become <laughs> mine, you know, 85% of the land uh, has turned into this, like, you would think that, like, all these guys and all these guys and all these guys would be, like, marching down here, waiting for me to show up, and then be like, oh, there's a keeper, kill him, kill him, go, go, now, everybody, everybody go, and then just slaughter you. Thankfully, they don't do that. Although it does kind of feel like it in Blaze End, I, I will say. Uh, it does feel like you are being assaulted by a big, huge push of heroes to try to kill you. But we'll get to that next week. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye! Bye.